So in this question from Fat March 17, paper 1, 2, we are going to look at a coil containing n turns of insulated copper wire wound on a cylindrical iron core of diameter D. Okay, draw drawing. Bah. No drawing, very hard to bring. Okay, so we have an iron core. This is my cylindrical iron core. Iron core. Diameter D. Okay, boss, this is D. And this coil has N turns. So I'm going to make a wire and turn this way. Many, many times, TLDR lazy to draw until here. Okay, so I continue the turn. And this is N turns. TLDR la, dot, dot, dot. N turns. Copper wire has a diameter D. This is the diameter of this wire, okay? D. If you know like that I draw the wire so thin, then you draw thicker. Lo. Are you happy now? It's an Avril Lavigne song. Are you happy now? Please don't demonetize me. Joking. Okay. Resistivity of copper is low. When Miss Lee is tired, a lot of limb joke will come out. Okay. Diameter D is much greater than diameter of wire. You don't say. Total resistance between the two ends of the coil. Okay, so meaning I want to know if let's say I connect this point, the two ends of the coil to here, what is the resistance? Okay, law. So we use our brand new resistivity equation. R is equal to rho L over A. Whenever you see something, just think about I'm given a lot of dimensions of the object. So obviously it's going to use rho L over A because my other option is to use R is equal to V over I. And my friends, we don't have V, we don't have I. It's nothing, okay? This one doesn't give us any information. So we gotta we gotta go with rho L over A. Okay. So hmm. What is L? Okay, la, my drawing a bit cha cha. They say two ends of the coil. To prevent people from overthinking, I'm going to delete this one so it's just nice at the end. Delete this one so it's just nice at the end. Okay, so we are looking for resistance at the end of the coil, here to here. Okay, no extra length coming out, peeking out. And I will label here to here as my diameter D. Okay, so <clears throat> in ideal situations, to find the length of the wire L, L will be equal to the number of turns multiplied by the circumference. Hmm, been looking for a lot of circumference today. What's the number of turns? N long. What's the circumference? Pi D no. Big D or small d? We wind the wire around the iron core. So it's the circumference of the iron core. Big D. Okay? So this will be N pi D. Circumference is pi D, right? Right, right. Yes. My 14-year-old brain say yes, it's pi D. Okay, what about area? Area is area of this coil thingy, thingy magic here. So this will be pi d square over 4. Unfortunately, we can cut the pi and have a nice supper so the pi can cancel off. You bring the 4 upwards now. 4 rho pi. Hey, no, wait, pi is gone. Bye-bye. Press F in the chat for pi. Rho n d over d square. Okay, so big D down here, the one. Lowercase d here, four in front, the answer is A. Okay, can draw this out, slowly apply the equation. That's my advice when it comes to deriving questions.